today we're going to be kicking off a series where we're going to paint all the models in the Indomitus box set, starting with speed painting the Necron Warriors. We're going to be starting from a base coat of pure black, which is just black spray primer. And we're going to be working this up with a series of dry brushes. First dry brush we're going to do is a lead belcher from Citadel. And just remember this uh, style we're using of speed painting is not going to be super heavily detailed, but it is going to add some nice depth to it with the series of dry brushes and washes we're going to do. So you're going to get a very nice effect with very minimal effort and time investment. Now we're going to do a second, much lighter dry brush of Canoptic Alloy from Citadel. We're going to do this one pretty lightly. We just want to add some highlights to that first dry brush we did. Now we're going to start washing. We're going to do Cryptek Armor Shade Gloss, and we're going to put this uh, nice heavy wash over all of the raised armor panels on here. Make sure you don't get it onto the little exoskeleton underneath them uh, because we're going to do that a little bit darker color. The goal with these washes is going to be to create some subtle differences between the different metals on here to add a little bit more character. And now we're going to hit that little skeleton framework underneath those armor panels and we're going to be using a uh, contrast paint, the Silicanum Gray by Citadel. This is going to give them a much darker, more grayish metal look that's going to look kind of oily. So it's going to be a really good one to help make that contrast between the two different kinds of metal. Now we're going to add just one more kind of metal here by using Retributor Armor just to paint a little emblem on each of their chests gold. So just add one more little pop, make them look a little bit more regal. And then we're going to go over those gold pieces with Agrax Earthshade Gloss from Citadel. And this is just going to give it a nice shadow while still keeping some of that metallic shine. And now we're going to bring up some highlights with one more dry brush. For this, we're going to be using Necron Compound from Citadel. And we're going to try to aim this on more of the raised pieces here. And what this is going to do is just take those different metal colors we just established with the washes and pull them all back together while also just calling out those edges a little bit more with the silver again. So it's going to bring in some highlights and really help tie all the different shades together. Now that's the majority of the Necron done. So what we're gonna do is just do the finishing touches on the gun here. We're gonna use black Templar contrast paint just to hit the little tubes inside the gun. The reason we're doing this with black instead of leaving them silver is it's gonna help to make the green orbs pop out a little bit more when we add the Tesseract glow to them. And the next thing we're going to want to do is just pick out everything we're going to coat with Tesseract Glow with white first. This is going to give it a lot better base to stand, to stand out on and make them look a lot more fluorescent. I'm using matte white from the Army Painter, but you can also use White Scar from Citadel if that's what you have available. And 
And now for our final step, we're gonna make these bad boys glow. We're just gonna drop some Tesseract glow in there. Don't worry about being too neat around any of these orbs because if you do get some outside, uh, it's just gonna make it look like it has a glow effect going on for some cool OSL that's really easy to do. So uh, I actually do it a little bit intentionally here around the orbs and when you'll see when it dries, it ends up looking really good. Once you finish that, that is it for these Necrons. And then you can go ahead, base them up, and you will have 20 complete Necron Warriors in less than two hours of painting time.